Jason, those are always good reminders to be cautious when you're you know, traveling through those work areas, especially when there's rain in the forecast. And fog. Right. A lot of fog right now, especially the coast, but also in northern Maine. The visibilities are down even below a mile in mm. Portland. So we'll take a look at the forecast, which gets you ready for uh, the work week. Uh, not a lot of school going on. You get the idea, though. Foggy tonight. April showers move in tomorrow. Then we get clear out and things get mild for a few days before more showers return next weekend. Looking to be quite the washout right now at last check, but that's not until next weekend. Let's do it one at a time here. One day at a time, right? Easy way to get through life one day at a time. Satellite and radar. Nothing coming down from the sky. Now you have the clouds on the ground. The definition of fog from caribou all the way down to Bar Harbor back down to Portsmouth, anywhere from two miles or less, even three quarters of a mile in Bar Harbor and in Portland. So it is definitely a take it slow night here. You see the cooler air up north, that snowpack. You see a little milder inland and then cooler along the southern coast and a bit of the mid coast where those 40s are popping up. There's that breeze out of the east here coming off the cool ocean. It's dry despite the fog. Here's a stationary front and behind that is the rain ahead of a cold front. That's the main event to get here tomorrow. Not going to be a ton of rain, but it will definitely give a nice little layer of coating of some shower activity. Now, before we get to that main event in the morning time and overnight, you have some rain here in the Oxford Hills. A little upslope going on from that east wind, some moisture coming in off the ocean. Now, afternoon tomorrow, southern Maine gets the main event. It's going to be scattered shower activity, not incredibly heavy, but the western mountains, let's have a shot with higher precipitation in the atmosphere to wring out some more moisture. But overall, I expect it's generally going to be about a quarter of an inch or so, give or take. Could see a little bit more here. Once again, upslope regions, but this is not going to be enough rain to cause big problems. Now, on and off rain coming this week. Here's the system coming through Monday. That swings through and gets out of here Tuesday. Some leftover showers. We dry out later Wednesday into Thursday. Sun and clouds mixed. And then on Friday, you see here sun with clouds, but look off to the west, Ohio Valley through the mid Atlantic, another front approaching and that gets here Saturday. Now I can't tell you if it rains out the complete weekend just yet, but definitely rain in the forecast as we get into Saturday and even Sunday of next weekend. All in all, though, not bad for April temperature wise and really the end of the week looks really good around 60 is where we're trending before that rain does move in. So for the Mariners, seas at two to three feet, wind out of the east, and that's gonna change things a bit. Like we've said that wind out of the north and northeast lately. The next several days, the forecast is featuring another decent day inland, 60 on and off showers. The rain holds off down east and northern Maine tomorrow until late. And then Tuesday, a few showers, 57, also not bad. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday look really good, especially if you're on vacation. And then here comes the rain from west to east Saturday into Sunday. So not a complete washout for the whole state for next weekend, but definitely going to have rain move in for sure. Before that, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at the coast look just great by April standards here. And if you want to get involved in the conversation, there's a social media there. And also sometimes I'll tweet out things like, oh, I'm tracking the fog check in uh, for the forecast at the last check or if you want to see some of those school visits I've been on across the state, which I was in Mechanic Falls uh, this past week and saw the kids up there and I just had a great time. Yeah, it's always fun going back to the schools and yeah. maybe uh, inspiring some future anchors, meteorologists. We that'd never be, know, right? That would be awesome. And Brian Yukona, yeah. that's how he fell in love exactly. uh, with the industry. So, yeah. all right, Jason, we'll see you in a little later yeah. to talk forecast for a big event happening just south of us, yeah. but we'll explain in a few minutes. All right. Thank you.